Well, hello there, ladies and gents. Okay, another apology from me, a very quick one. Before you see this video, before you see this ugly mush of mine, you'll see a thumbnail. I now know what one is. I've put it in an earlier video. I know how to do a picture before you get to my mush. And you'll see a picture of either Paul O'Grady or his show For the Love of Dogs. Um, this video, this posting will be titled For the Love of Dogs. The reason I ask an apology is I'm probably putting it under false pretenses because it's about dogs. I do love dogs. It's not about Paul O'Grady. It's not about his show. It's about something that happened to me on this morning. And I'd like to share it with you because I think it's funny. I don't mind using Paul's picture or For the Love of Dogs, the picture of that, because I think that were Paul here, he would like this story. If he's anywhere now looking down on me, he will be having a laugh, I promise you. Or he would have this morning. That is a definite. Now, before I go any further, I've stated that I'm the world's biggest technophobe. I am. I've managed to put pictures on today for the first time ever. There will be a picture accompanying this. I've told you that I'm a writer on Dicko. I'm as thick as they come. I really am. I've told you that my memory's not where it should be. I blame my age, but it's not been great for 10 years, my memory. It really isn't very good. And I've I've realised today as well that I'm not very observant. I'll explain why in a moment, because that's the crux of this short story. Um, but take all that into consideration and still feel free to laugh at me when you've heard this story. Because um, I've been laughing at me ever since. I just cannot believe what I've done. Right, I'll get straight to it, because you've had the preamble there. It's only going to take a couple of minutes, but... I just can't believe myself sometimes. I, I amaze myself sometimes. I'm out this morning. I've had a, a couple of health issues over the last couple of years. Nothing too bad, and I'm fine now. But one of the things that helps me is to walk. And it's been suggested I walk on a daily basis, which I do. Nothing particularly fab. Um, I live in, in the middle of what I would call a block. I live in the middle of that block. I actually go out my clothes, and I walk that block twice every morning. Uh, it's only half an hour, uh, but I do it at a brisk walk. And on a regular basis I come across dog walkers and certain dogs and certain walkers who I get on very well with and I'll say hello I normally don't have time to stop because I'm doing a brisk walk a brisk walk a brick walk and it's for my health but I've got to talk to a few of them and I know a few faces all pleasant people walk past a guy today who I probably see once maybe twice a week on a on a, any given week but sometimes not for three weeks but I, Overall, I would imagine over the last couple of years, I'd probably see him about four to six times per month over the last couple of years. Now, what um, what sets this gentleman aside from all the other gents and ladies I see walking dogs is, his dog, I think it's a pug, I think he's got a pug, and his back legs must have gone, it must be really bad. And it's in one of those like, um, almost like a, not a wheelchair, you know, something with, with wheels on the back. So its legs obviously sort of still work, but not well. And it's got a couple of wheels behind it and it walks with its front two legs and and that gives enough traction to to walk properly with him. It. Obviously it's very slow, but there's a couple of wheels propelling its backside. Anyway, there's been times I've seen him with this dog, and there's been the odd time that I've seen him without the the I'd say contraption, because I can't think of a better word, please bear with me. And the times I see without the contraption, I think to myself. Well, it must be better to Well, that's really nice. That's really good. So I'm thinking it must have something like bad rheumatism or something like that, or arthritis, arthritis. And maybe some days it's better than others. And when I see it without this, this contraption, I, I feel pleased. I think, well, that's great. At least the dog has some good days rather than all bad days. Not that there'd be bad days. It looks a really nice owner, this fellow, and a nice bloke. I like some of them I like. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Very pleasant and whatever else. Anyway, walks past him today on my first lap. I always do two laps. I don't always see him on both laps because I might have started before him and he's gone in. He might have started as I'm about to go in. So I walk past him today and I notice the dog's back there with the old contraption and he's walking slowly and I say hello to him. Nothing more. Can I'm walking? Coming back round, aren't I? I'm coming back round. All of a sudden I see him again. But the dog isn't, isn't in the contraption. And I think to myself, that's strange. It was in it only half an hour ago, 20 minutes ago. I thought, that's strange. Now, there's another bloke that walks with a small dog along the same route as me, who I see from time to time. And sometimes I get mistaken. I think, is that the bloke? Or is that the bloke? Well, I thought there was a different bloke. There won't be a different bloke. It'll be the same bloke. It'll be the same bloke. I've realised today how it'll be the same bloke. 
So as I say, I thought there's two blokes and two dogs. Um, and I think one dog's bad, didn't they? Oh no, I think there's one dog and two blokes. And I think the other bloke has the same kind of dog. Um, anyway, he walks past me the first time and he says hello and the dog's in the contraption. I comes back around 20 minutes later. Same dog. I thought, and this is where the story gets really laughable. Same bloke. I thought. But I thought, well, is it the same bloke or is that the different bloke? I thought, I don't want to say anything to him in case I'm wrong, but I can't understand how 20 minutes ago it's got these wheels following it and 20 minutes later it's not. He says hello and I says hello the second time. And I thought, I'm not going to ask him how he's out of the contraption now. I thought, I, may, I might have the wrong bloke because this dog, look, dog looks healthy. After he said hello, straight away he praised with, and again he said, hello, again. Again, I thought, I've seen him before, I said. And then it hit me. I thought, oh my God, you absolute fool. The dog you seen 20 minutes ago was a black dog. This dog that you're looking at now, that hasn't got wheels behind it, is a bloody white dog. I thought, he's got two dogs, they're different dogs. For two years I thought one of them's getting better. But I only ever see him once, I never see him twice in the same day, or the same walk. As he said again to me, I thought, do I speak to him? I thought, I can't let it pass, I've got to tell him how thick I am. I said, I've got to tell you this, I'd already started to walk past him. I said, excuse me, I've got to tell you this. I said, I've just got to tell you how stupid I've been. He said, I said what do you mean? I said, I've been seeing you now for nigh on two years. Three, four, five, six times a month. And virtually every time I see you, I see you with that dog, with the wheels behind it, and I think, oh, what a shame, the dog's in a bad way, he can't walk properly anymore. But now and again, I see what I think is another bloke, who looks very much like you, with the dog, absolutely same make as yours, walking and he's fine. And I said, for a second, I thought you was that other bloke. And then it's hit me, as you've said again, when you've said hello again, I've realised I've already seen you. But then, my memory kicks in, my memory that I've not got, from only 20 minutes ago, and I thought, the last one was black. This one that's got no wheels behind it, it's white. I said, you've got two dogs, haven't you? He said, of course I have. I said, you've got one dog with bad legs? He said, yeah. This dog's not got bad legs, has it? He said, no. I said, oh my God. I said, the times I've seen you with this dog, and I've, and I've thought, is that the same bloke? And then I thought, yeah, it's the same bloke, but... This dog's legs must be better today. It must be okay today. I said, I've never for one... Because I don't see it every day. I've never for one moment thought, there's a black one and there's a white one. He thought it was funny. He laughed. I've not stopped laughing. But at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, how thick are you, Dave? How, how can you not realise that one's black and one's white? Anyway, that's my story. I still love dogs. They may not love me. But then again, they may feel sorry for me. They're good pets and they feel sorry for idiots. And I... I'm a prize idiot. And if Paul's looking down on this, Paul will find that funny because he likes a joke. And today the joke was very much on me, viewers. Very much on me. What a fool. I amaze myself sometimes, I really do. I amaze myself sometimes. But it gives me something to think about. And now it's given me something to talk about. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope at least one of you feels sorry for me. I deserve it. <laughs>